Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about a couple of really quick, inexpensive, out-of-the-box tweaks that you're probably going to wait, want to make to your new JBL 305P Mark II studio monitor speakers. These are super popular in the world today. They're like the gold standard for entry-level speakers, but let's face it, they're kind of ugly. We're going to deal with that. Check that out. See that one over there? That's a 305P. I'm going to show you how to do that real quickly. But before we do that, I want to talk about speaker isolation. It doesn't make any difference. I've set up a mic under here so we can actually hear what's going on. Okay, can, okay now this mic is hot. Okay, there we go. It's, you can hear all that. That's pretty hot. Okay. So you can hear that, right? Okay. Here's a normal desktop speaker. It's nothing fancy, inexpensive, 50 bucks, Amazon, something like that. And if you're still using these to do desktop audio work, um, like I was for two years, just go get the set of 305s and stop beating yourself up and you'll be happy again. This speaker has four little feet on the bottom of it. See, I don't know if you can see those. Four little feet right there. Those are scratch protectors. They're not speaker isolators. So if I put this here and I tap right down this, this edge right here, so the maximum transfer of energy, Desktop. So we need to do something about that because that's clearly acoustically transferring energy to this desktop. Do speaker isolators really work? Let's start with these. You know what these are? These are moon gel, moon tabs, whatever you call them. Drummers use them. They toss them on the surface of their drum heads to control the timber and ring and stuff like that. This was a 30 pack, variety of colors, 30 pieces, 30 in here. Each of them about, um, I don't know, maybe I'd say about a 32nd of an inch thick, maybe a little bit more than that, and with a light adhesive on one side, which makes them perfect to stack as gel feet on the bottom of this monitor. So I've only done two on mine, but you could easily stack three, and there's enough in there to put a stack of three on two studio monitors, just like this, at all four corners. Okay, but does it work? Does it make any difference? That's the real question. Well, obviously it does or I probably wouldn't be making this video, but let's prove it. Let's do the proof. All right, so here we go. I'm back to the two speakers. Speaker with just little surface protectors. Incidentally, surface protectors even smaller than those is the only thing JBL sent with these speakers. So that's not gonna work. Speaker, surface, very different, very, very different tone. I'm tapping the same. You can hear an immediate acoustic difference with these little feet on here. Much less energy is being transferred to the tabletop here. Now, I wanted kind of a stealth look that it almost didn't even look like it had feet. That's why I only went with two. And again, my speakers are at both corners of this table directly over one of the legs. So I know I'm not getting all the bounce that the top of this table is getting in this demonstration. So two feet were just fine for me, provided plenty of uh, uh, isolate, speaker isolation for me. But you may say, hey, um, I'm not a gel kind of guy. I'm a foam kind of person. No problem. I got you covered. This is an Ozark Trail seat cushion from Walmart. It costs $6.72. This is plenty of material to cut up and make speaker isolators for this. Why would you do that? Well, because it's made of three quarter inch high density closed cell foam. And guess what all the best speaker isolators are made of? Right, closed cell high density foam. This is a three quarter inch thick. It's nice and thick, it's really nice. But does it work? <laughs> well, I cut one of them up. Here's just a piece, just a scrap piece, right? It's the hand, it's just the scrap piece. Here we go again. Desktop surface. Speaker one. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing is <laughs> transferring to this desktop. I mean, 
the meter's barely even moving. I mean, that is unbelievable difference. So there's proof positive. Yes, speaker isolation absolutely works. But what, does this look too anemic? You, you don't, it's not, oh, okay. How about instead of going to Walmart and spending seven bucks, you go to Home Depot and spend 14 bucks to get an even bigger piece of one and a half inch thick, high density, close cell foam. That you, it's a kneeling pad. It's just a kneeling pad by Husky over in the tool department. $14, $13.96, something like that. And you think this works? Yeah. I mean, complete isolation. You can cut it. There, there's enough material here to make four easily complete speaker isolation pads. I'm telling you, yes, speaker isolation pads work, but you do not need to spend a lot of money. Now, we've talked about the, the sound of these speakers. Well, we got to talk about the appearance of these speakers. Well, guess what? That speaker over there, that's a 305P, just like this one. The only difference is it has a nylon stretch textbook cover stretched over it. The links are below. <laughs> Go get you some. They come in a pair in the link below. If you click the link below, it's the pair um, str nylon stretch textbook cover instantly cover up the glossy black. Oh, but it's a fabric. You'd never put it on a student. Look, these are acoustically transparent. Don't worry about it. But you may not like that look. You may want a little different look. Um, that may still show too much of the speaker. So I do have another option. And the other option is this. It's a bar stool cover. It's just a cotton spandexy stretch bar stool cover. And to put it on, very simply, bada boom. There you go. Instant speaker cover. Now, this may bother you. I get it. Sure. Well, the, the face may bother you. Look, you know, maybe you'll find something better. But I can tell you right now, these fit. They look great. The bar stool covers are a little more opaque visually than the textbook covers. But the links to all of this stuff is down below. I invite you to click them. Go get you some tweak out your new JBL 305 speakers, and uh, I hope you enjoy your new near-field experience.